I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. In the psalm, we repeat the words of the pilgrims who once went up to Jerusalem with joy. The same joy that will mark the reopening of our churches after the long and difficult weeks of the lockdown. Our ancestors would always repeat the words of scripture to describe every one of our churches, whether it was a great cathedral or a makeshift hut. This, they said, is the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Because in our churches we find the real presence of Jesus Christ among us in the blessed sacrament of the Eucharist. This is the source of our joy, because our churches are a place of encounter, as Pope Francis reminds us today. An encounter with Christ which leads us to open the doors of our churches so that everyone may share in this joy and this transforming encounter with Christ. I hope that many of you will be able to make your personal pilgrimage to know something of this joy in quiet prayer before the Blessed Sacrament, in lighting a candle, in a genuflection with wonder at the miracle of love which is the Eucharist. As I've so often reminded you on my visits to the parishes, in the Holy Eucharist we can say with Saint John Vianney that he is here, he is here, the one who loves us so much, he is here. And with Thérèse of Lisieux, that saint forever young, we're reminded that in her words, in the tabernacle, Jesus waits expressly for you with a burning desire to enter your heart, to transform your life. This is what it means for us to visit our churches and to see their doors open once more. And this will depend on the generosity of many volunteers and perhaps you can be one of those who will be able to help to open the doors of our churches as a first step in making our churches safe and secure in readiness in the weeks ahead, in the time ahead we hope to begin the celebration of the sacraments and once more the public celebration of the Holy Mass. Above all, to allow our churches to open their doors once more, that many may rejoice to come here and to know the presence and the joy of the presence of the Lord among us. May this be a joy shared by many in the weeks ahead of us.